Cuckoo, cuckoo. Have you seen your mother? To whom am I speaking? Take off the bag and see. To whom am I speaking? <laughs> Don't act odd, Jane. Tell your father you'll be normal. I'll be normal. I'll be normal, comma, father. I'll be normal, comma, father. <laughs> <gasps> there you are, children. Mother, don't leave me for that count! Edith, what is Dwayne talking about? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, Arthur. <laughs> don't tell your father about the count. Oh, mother, I love you! <laughs> Edith, what did you just whisper to Dwayne? Oh, nothing. Just that granddad's hearing is getting worse. Look, I've invented banana bread. Aren't you proud of me? Congratulations, Edith. Gee, Mom, what? Banana bread, Granddad! It's too early for that! I only see two people. I'm sure you see more than that, dear. Oh, the doorbell. Hello, Miss Lamont. How's Jane? Much better. Jane? A visitor. Who are you? I'm your psychologist, Mr. Summers. <laughs> I don't understand. I guess it's confusing, but I didn't want to tell you earlier. I got a sex change this afternoon. <laughs> I don't believe you. It's quite true. My wife can substantiate. Harriet! Yes, dear? Explain to Jane that I am Mr. Summers. How do you do, Jane? My husband has told me all about you and your neurosis. One of my favorite cases. I don't understand. It simply seemed that the magic had won out our marriage, and now we both needed a change. You, you should have told me. You should have prepared me. I didn't want to spring it on you too quickly. I think it's very courageous of you both. Thank you. Harriet, is that a banana in your trousers, or are you just happy to see me? It's a banana. <laughs> they haven't fit me for any male appendages yet, so I've been trying to get the hang of it. I think a banana's too large. Might I have the banana? Surely! Oh! I've been wondering how my patients would react to the change. <laughs> yes! Mother! I love you! Oh, shh, dear. I don't hear you. Now, Jane, tell me about the dream about the Peter Pan play again. It wasn't a dream. And I never said it was. And I didn't tell you about it, I told him. <laughs> but you haven't met Harry until this very moment. You're pulling a trick on me. Oh my god. Mr. Marsh, have you any glue? <gasps> yes! I invented some this morning. Ah, Madame Fromage. Bravo for you. I call it mucilage. You must excuse me. My wife just noticed that one of my breasts was slipping off. Can I get you a melon? No, thank you. This should do it. Modern surgery is a wonder these days, but it can be sloppily done sometimes. I don't think you can help me. Oh, dear. You see, Harriet? I see. A hostile reaction to my change. Jane, dear, I'm just as capable as I was before. I think you're crazy. What? Shut up! You're not my father! Of course not! He's your grandfather! Let me see his driver's license! He doesn't drive! It wouldn't be wise! Oh my god! Harriet, what's the matter? I feel so unused to these clothes. The leg, the pants up against my legs, and the shoes are too heavy, and I miss my breasts! Harriet, please! We can talk about this after my session with Jane. Walter, we can't. I feel so nervous all of a sudden. Can I talk to you in the other room for a second? Surely. Don't step on the potato chip. I'll be right back, Jane. Do excuse me. I guess I'm taking to the transition poorly. Madame Fromage. <laughs> Now that your husband and son and father have gone down to the cellar for a minute, <laughs> let me ask you to become my wife. We can live in France, your true home, where the people love you for the great gift you have given them. 
What about my husband and the rest of my family? Bring them all. I have a big heart. Well, that's most generous. But I must consult with my daughter first. Jane, did you hear the Count's offer? No. Yes, you did. Do you approve? No. Yes, you do. Do you want to come with us to France? No. Yes, you do. Oh, Count! Jane's agreed to everything. Darling. My Count! I'm shocked! The Count and I were just discussing my going back to stage. You've used that story before. Never! Yes, you have. Albert, you're belligerent. Arthur! Arthur, you're belligerent. Father, don't use that tone with my mother! Wait, don't speak crossly to your father! I think it's terrible any of you speak for little. Madame Flamma. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, Granddad's having a coffee fit. Dwayne, why don't you get your grandfather some water? You're just trying to distract from the issue. Your grandfather's talking. He's so cruel. Listen to your mother. We've got to get the settled first. Who do you love more, me, father, or the Count? Do you mean more frequently or in greater degree? Degree. <laughs> God, Edith, is he dead? No, he's just sleeping. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, who do you love? Dwayne, when you ask a woman that, you ask her to explain her existence. And so I will. Dwayne, I love you as a mother loves a son, a wife loves a husband, and a woman loves a lover. Arthur, I love you as a wife loves a son, a husband loves a lover, and a wife loves a woman. Count, I love you as a son loves a husband, a mother loves a lover, and a wife loves a brother. It's one for all, and all for one. There, are you satisfied? Mother, you're wonderful. Edith, I'm touched. Madame, you're a charmant. I don't look like I used to. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> I don't think I've introduced you properly. This is my husband, Arthur. How do you do? How do you do? I'm Mr. Summers, and this is my husband, Harriet. How do you do? I'm Mr. Summers, and this is my wife, Walter. I do very well, thank you. And this is my son, Dwayne. How do you do, sir? How do you do? I'm Mr. Summers, and this is my wife, Walter. And this is the Count de Rouchelet. Comment ça va? Très bien, merci. Je m'appelle Jacqueline, et vous, mon fromage, Claude. Bonjour, bonjour. And this is my new invention. I dedicate it to my wonderful daughter. I call the recipe Banana Bread Jane. Did you hear that, Jane? I don't know who you are. <laughs> Come, let us taste of the Banana Bread Jane. Jane, it's your birthday. You cut the first piece. It's not my birthday. Of course it is. We've been wishing you a happy birthday all day. Happy birthday, Jane. We're going to get the piano tuned for you. Who are you? What? Schwanoel, Jane. Allez-vous à la bibliothèque? Cut the banana bread, Jane. A long time, fond de la pâte, le jour de glaude, est arrivé. Contre nous des la tyrannie, when the dark and blind is living. That was a very inconsiderate thing for you to have done. I'm going to have nightmares now. Jane, you've upset my wife. I thought she was your husband. Jane, I'd like you to meet my daughter, Jane. How do you do, Jane? How do you do? How do you do? I don't understand. Which one is Jane? Don't play games with me. You know which one. No, I don't. Don't let it go. Don't let it go.